Hello Amanda, how are you? Hello Felice, good morning. Hey, good morning, everyone. Morning. Okay, so how was your day? Good. Good, yeah. So, so far, good. only nine students. Okay, so how was the assignment given yesterday? Was it hard? I try my best to give only like, not really that much question in many questions. Okay then, first of all, let's play. Let's play. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for everything. Lord, uh, we are going to study, Lord. May you help us, Lord, to understand. We pray all these things in the name of all Jesus Christ. Amen. So, yesterday we talked about the review about the chapter of, uh, what do you call uh, forget. Oh yeah, the sequence, sequence, the sequence. Finding the linear pattern sequence in numbers. That's actually yesterday. Now we move to the uh, algebraic factorization and expansion. Okay, I think you guys struggle in this topic so much. Therefore, I think this is a good time for us to uh, refocus and also to review the important concepts there including the perfect square or the, the difference of perfect square or square numbers. Okay, let's start. Okay, I want to remind you guys that on Monday, we are going to have the, the our testing window will be Monday 27 April 2000. Uh, 20, which is still far from now, 20 more days. Now 7 April, so 20 more days, okay? And then the due date for today's assignment is on next Tuesday, 14 April 2020. So about one week from now, a week. Okay, now, the first five minutes, I want you guys to download the two files. No, basically, I'm sorry, this is one file only. So now go to your Schoology account and download in the new folder of algebraic uh, many, uh, expansion and factorization there. I already downloaded it. I already attached it. I already uploaded there. So I want you guys to up, uh, download it in your Schoology account in the new, new folder there. Okay. So for example, if I show you, this is the folder here. Uh, here, algebraic expansion and factorization here. Please go here. Now, at the same time, I want to do absences. And because of that, I want to know whether you actually exist or not. Because there are so many students right now in my other class, not so many, a few of them. They're just online, but they are not there. Okay. Now, I see AZ. 
IAZ. Now, I want to everybody to show your face now. I do absences now. Okay, Jason. What, Jason? What is that? What background is that? Okay, Christina. Okay, thank you. Amanda. Felice. Keisha, okay, thank you. Felice, Keisha. Amanda. Yera. Grace. Okay. Wells. Howard. Howard. Karen. Keisha. Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Howard, yes. Okay, Keisha, okay, good. Uh, Keisha already. Who else, yeah? Where's Bennett? Bennett? Bennett is here or not? Oh, Karen, thank you. Where's Bennett here? Bennett is not here? Is he aware of our class here today? Stephen, Stephen. Oh, Bennett, Bennett. Jessica, are you there? Bennett, are you there? Jessica, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Jessica is there. Bennett, where's Stephen? Stephen absent, yeah. Okay. Okay, absence is done. Now let's continue. Bennett are still not replying. Okay, that's okay. Now let's continue our our study here. Okay. Now I want you guys to to think about this these two uh, graphs here, not diagrams. Okay, this is the equations that are categorized as quadratic expressions. And this one are not. Now, I want you guys to spend about two minutes to think why this one is not quadratic expression. This one not, the first one, second, third, fourth, and the seventh is not quadratic expression. Okay, I give you about one minute, one minute. And then I will ask you randomly that you have to be ready to answer this. Okay, Jason, I want to ask Jason first. Jason, why this one yeah. is not a quadratic expression? Why? I don't know. Okay, you don't know. Okay, Christina, why do you think this is not a quadratic expression? What is the reason? Why this one is not in this part? I don't know. Uh, Karen, what do you think? Why x cubed minus 5x minus 14 is not a quadratic expression? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Amanda, what do you think? Bennett, Amanda? I don't know. Uh, Seth. Is it because it has the power of three instead? The X instead? Yeah, thank you so much, Bennett. Yeah. Quadratic expression is actually identified by x square. Here you don't see x square, but it's actually x cubed. Okay, thank you, Bennett, for your active participation. Now, oh yeah, I don't see today James. James and Stephen are not here. Okay. How about Howard? Howard, why this is not a quadratic expression? 80 plus 12. Uh, 
Why? Yeah. Why do we think, Howard? Okay, as you can see here, this is there's no square here. If let's say this one is 80 squared plus 12, then this one should be in the group of quadratic expression. Okay, uh, I want to ask Keisha. Keisha, why do you think that x squared plus 3y minus 25 is not part of the quadratic expression? Well, we actually see the existence of x squared here. Why is it this is not a quadratic expression, Keisha? Um, is it because of the 3y, it's supposed to be x. Okay, thank you so much. That's true. That's clear. Okay, that's true. Okay, the last one. Kera, why is z to the power of 4 plus 3z squared minus 2z plus 1? It's not a quadratic expression. Well, you see this one is z squared. And also everything is actually z, using z. Yeah, of course, this plus 1 is actually makes sense. Here also, there's a number that doesn't have the variable, also can count it as quadratic expression. But why this one is not counted as quadratic expression? Because the z is to the power of 4. Okay. When z is more than 2, then this is what we call as polynomial equation. Polynomial equation in this. Okay. Done. So basically, we actually understand the meaning of quadratic expression. No, so. The quadratic expression is has to be, they have to, to, they need to have the same variable. If you start with y, everything to be y. And then it cannot like you have to x minus 5y squared, cannot. Okay? So we are done here, I mean five. And now we focus on the how to factorize quadratic equation. So as you can see here, this is a simple one. Okay? So what is the result when you multiply it and when you add them with we will be 10? What are the two numbers when you times it 25 and when you add them 10? So it's 5 and 5. So this is the root or the result of factorization here. X plus 5, X plus 5, or X plus 5 squared. So this is what we call perfect square. Why? Because they have the same root, the same factors. Example two, factorize 2a squared plus 6a plus 4. So as you can see here, the first thing that you have to do is that you need to find the common factor of them. Here the common factor of them is 2. So 2 bracket a squared plus 2 times 3, so this one 3a plus 6. And then you have this. Okay, so far before I move to, uh, before I move, is everybody clear with my explanation here? Yes, sir. Besides Bennett, Jane, yeah. oh yeah, Jane, Jane, Jane is not here. Is Jane here? Is Jane here? No, yeah. Jane is not here. Okay. Okay, we continue. Okay, guys, for example, this, the question is like this. I want you guys to spend about five minutes to solve this question. Okay, a rectangle has area x squared minus 10x plus 21. Its perimeter is for x minus 20. Find in terms of x the length of each of its sides. Okay, I want you guys to have your notebook or any paper with pen and start solving this question. Okay, let's have a practice. So, don't just think that the practice is only about during the assignment. No, we can do it now in online learning. Okay, so we have this rectangle, which is a quadratic equation. The area, x squared minus 10x plus 21. Its parameter is for x minus 20. Find in terms of x the length of each side.
Okay, now this is part of the assignment. I give you five minutes from now. Everybody, later after the end of five minutes, I want you guys to write down your answer in your chat room simultaneously. So no one can, and then you have to send me privately. You cannot send it in the to everybody so that the others will see your answer. I want you guys to tell me privately your answer about the the result of factorization of this equation of the area, which actually later will give you the information about the length equation and the width equation. The length of each side means that the length of the the the, the value of the length and the value of the width. Of course, the length it has to be bigger than the value of the width. Okay, starting from now, five minutes. In the end of five minutes, I will let you know. The last 10 seconds, I will let you know. And then, starting that, you have to send me your answer privately. Is everybody clear? Yes. Yes, mister. Oh, now James here. Why you're late, James? Sorry, mister. Because of software update. Okay. Okay, the result of your answer will be part of uh, the assignment, yeah? So I will give grace to this. So you need to send me the message in the chat room privately. Don't share it to everybody. There is the, the tool to share it. Uh, privately to me in Zoom. Okay, you may start answering the question. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now start typing your answers privately to me. You have about 20 seconds to Type your answer. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Okay, stop. You cannot give more answers. You cannot give any answer whatsoever. I will record your answer here. Sir, I don't get it. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, JFG, just come in. Okay, later we will discuss it again. Okay, so the answer for this is here. So this is the steps that I've made. Okay, so x square minus 10x plus 21. So its perimeter is 4x minus 20. So this is my first step. I draw it, and then after that, I factorize it. So I get it x minus 7 and x minus 3. So therefore, we can be sure that the length is x minus 7 instead of x minus 3 because the number is bigger than here. We can check the validity of by the value of the perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 2 length plus 2 width. 2 times x minus 7 plus 2 x minus 3. You have 2 x minus 14 plus 2 x minus 6. Total is equal to 4 x minus 3. So the answer is x minus 7 and x minus 3. Thank you. Now, in general, expanding, for example, here, a plus b times a minus b is equal to a square minus a b plus a b minus b square, which is a square minus b square. So any expression of the form of a square minus b square is the difference of two squares. The first square and second square. The difference between two squares is this. Okay? Or vice versa. A plus B times A minus B is equal to this. Or A square minus B square is equivalent to A plus B times A. For example, factorize X square minus 64. Now we actually can see here that 64 is a perfect number. A square number. Which is a square number of A. A. Here, we can see that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we can know for sure that this equal to x minus a times x plus b. Okay. So this one, the other way of saying this is this. x square minus x square. Fully factorized means write as a product of expression which cannot be factorized any further. Okay, we have another example here. Fully factorize 16x power of 4 minus 81 here. Now we know for sure that this is a square number because this is equal to 9 square. While this one, there's something complicated here because it's not just about 16x uh, power 4, but there's 16 here. Now we just need to find the roots of this one. The roots of 16x power of 4 is equal to 4x squared. So, it's basically for x square bracket square minus 9 square. It's something like that. So, we have here for x square minus 9 times 4 x square plus 9. This one cannot be fully factorized, but this one can. Why? Because this is again, this is a square number. This is a square number. So, you can fully factorize here by you factorize this part to x minus 3 to x plus 3. But this one remains the same. Okay, this is the kind of questions that actually kind of hard. Why? Because this involving the x square that actually is not one. It's not one x square or x square, but three x square. So what we need to do is that we need to have uh, many possible solutions. Because everything starts from here, 12. 12 can be 1 and 12, 12 and 1, 2 and 6, 6 and 2, 3 and 4, 4 and 3. And then you one by one fits which one that fits the original equation here. So for example, I start with this first factor, 1 and 12. Because there are six possible factors here. 3x plus 1 times x plus 12. Okay, the 3x squared and 12, okay, correct. But most of these times, as you can see, the one is not actually the same, it's only in the middle one. Here, okay. All correct. This one, all correct. But the middle ones are not. After elaborate process, of trial and error, 
then you find this is the only one that makes sense for entry. The x plus 4 times x plus 3. And then you have this. If you ask me, is there any shortcut, sir? Yes, there is. That's what we call as the quadratic formula, but it's something that you actually will learn on, on grade 9. That's, my, that's actually x1, 3 is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. But that's later. But for grade 8, this is what you're supposed to know. Okay, so far, any question? Are you there, guys? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. No question, sir. Okay. Now, again, I give you five minutes. Fully factorize each quadratic expression. Only this one. Five minutes from now. And give me your answer in, in the chat room privately later. Okay, now you may start typing your answers, guys. You may start typing your answers now privately too, so that others may not see your answers. Okay, you have about 10 more seconds to write down your answers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No more. Okay, so as you can see here, the right answer is should be 3x plus 1 times x plus 2. Okay, again, I, re I tell it again, 3x plus 1, bracket, bracket 3x plus 1, and then another bracket, x plus 2. Okay, correct question about that? Yeah. Okay, now this is your assignment, guys. So, 
This is assignment number one. Okay. This is number two, two A to B. So basically your job is to find is it plus or minus? What what number here should be? Is it plus or minus? Is it plus or minus? And what number it should be? Something like that. But this one is simple. This is exactly like this one. That's how you do number one. And for number two, this is 2A to B, you have to be able to predict the operation, whether it is plus or minus, plus or minus, and the number. Plus or minus, plus or minus, or number. And number three, this one is exactly like more or less like this one. Ah, here. Really too much homework. I give it on on Tuesday next Tuesday. Is it still too much? Next Tuesday, hello. One more week. Is it the case for everybody? Next Tuesday is too much. Mister. Mister. Yeah. Can you make it in Schoology? Can you make like, it in Schoology? What do you mean? The, the homework, the homework. I already we make just it. write the answers. Yeah, Jason, that's the problem. Why is it? I mean, only two of you still did not did not send me you and the other one i will not mention now is it the same problem with with everybody that what especially in my math class because if you see the my homework yeah the first one is actually a lot but after that no but it's up to you i mean for this time i understand but if you think this is too much, please let me know now. As far as I think, next Tuesday is quite reasonable. Like for yesterday is this Thursday, which about three days, four days. Okay, and then for this today is next week, seven days. Or like, yeah, yeah, seven days. Or a week from now. Okay, Bennett said it's reasonable. What about others? Jason said it's too much. Howard, what do you think? Christina, what do you think? Felice, what do you think? Amanda, Karen? I, I think it's too much also. Okay, James said too much. James, I already put it in Schoology. Yeah. Already. You just need to check it first. Okay, mister. But there is a chance that we may forget it. Okay. Now, my question to you is Schoology reminding you some somehow? about the, the assignment, is there any options of reminding you guys? It depends on the other teachers. Hmm. Now, my, my question to you is my assignment is the most, what do you call it? Burdensome or the heaviest so far that you think? What do you think guys? Okay. What do you think, Karen? Ado, Amanda, Keisha, Keisha, Grace. Come on, everybody, speak up. What about Howard, AZ? AZ already said you, yes or no? Christina, what do you think? <laughs> I go with majority. 
Guys, you need to, to follow your heart. You need to make a personal decision. Sometimes go to way with majority is not always a good case. Wow, no homework. Defense. Can you elaborate? What do you mean by that, Christina? <laughs> okay, depends on what, Keisha. Okay. I think this chapter is easier than than even the sequence, even the yesterday topic. I, that's my opinion based on teaching mathematics for almost 10 years. Okay, then I see that majority says it's okay. The ones that openly said no, James, Jason, and who else? James, Jason, and and I appreciate James and Jason. Okay, how about this? If I make it on on Wednesday or Thursday, next Thursday, we get like twenty homework a week. Is it true, guys? For is it the same case with you? 20 homework a week. No, we don't. So, James, uh, Jason, which one is correct? 20, 15, or 10, or what? <laughs> what do you mean, defense? <laughs> it changes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, Let's make a deal. I postpone it one day. So instead of next Tuesday, I make it next Wednesday. I think that's more than reasonable. This one, if you see, this one can be done. This one, for example, yeah. I can do this, two, two of this, only one minute. So I times it five with you. Five minutes, only this, five. I can do this, it's about let's say more of this five minutes times five 25 minutes 25 times plus five 30 minutes this can be five minutes more of this so times five okay this one is not even like 30 minutes doing all these questions so one one question for you could be Five minutes. This one is so easy. This one is so easy. I tell you the truth. This one is so easy. This one a little bit tricky, but this one quite challenging. But this one is as easy as the three x plus one x plus two. For me, it's just one hour. Okay. Okay lah. Let's see. Let's see. Next month. Uh, next Wednesday, I will change. Okay. Do you have more questions regarding the, the, the lesson for today here? No, sir. Is everybody clear? Yes, mister. Okay, so... Clear. So basically, the one who didn't come for this class, join is only Stephen, yeah? Okay. I think so. Okay, let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you that you have allowed us, Lord, to study, Lord. May your name be glorified. No, I know, Lord, that the students kind of in the dilemmatic position, they find themselves stressful in this uh, learning environment. But I believe you will enable them, Lord, to finish the task. I also have the difficulty to finish my task they do. As I also have my own sickness. When I'm sitting too much, then I have the hemorrhoid. But stress.